The Floyd County Sheriff's Department sat in on a conference call from the White House as they provided much needed information on rules and obligations they must follow during this COVID-19 crisis. Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt invited me to attend this conference call and explained to me the added dangers they face while serving and protecting their citizens. Uh, I have uh, served on the President's Coronavirus Task Force. Uh, the uh, Secretary is actually over there right now as we speak. This is something that at the federal level we've been addressing for over two months now. Um, but with respect to the role of law enforcement, we recognize the extremely important role that you all have and the responsibilities for custodial management throughout the country. Okay, yeah, we've had our uh, update this morning, our conference call, obviously with uh Office of Health and uh, Homeland Security and people who are briefing us uh, weekly or morning. We've already taken some steps. Last week, uh, Friday, we were issued an order from the uh, Supreme Court to limit access into our Justice Center. Um, that'll minimize, the, obviously, the, the efforts of spreading the uh, COVID-19 if we were in contact with it. We transport about 20 a day from jail to court, vice versa, court to jail. So we're trying to minimize that. Uh, interaction and try to keep them isolated and keep from bringing something into the jail. The jail is down to uh, zero visitations. No, they're not allowing any visitations at the jail. Um, and you got to imagine if something was, to, if they was to get one case, then they're going to get a, you know, everybody there would get a case. So that'll hopefully minimize some of it and uh, restrict a lot of the uh, visitors from coming and going and hopefully until this can pass. It makes it even more challenging, you know. It's already challenging enough with the heroin, the fentanyl, and just every little thing in the world, you know, the meth. And then now you got to worry about protective devices and worry about maybe coming in contact. And uh, we were talking earlier, I mean, even though we're Floyd County and we haven't had a case yet, it's a small world when you start pinning the, you know, putting the needles in the in the geographical board and trying to figure out where this starts at because we all have family from all across Kentucky that come in contact with us and spread it. So uh, you could have it or have a contact with it and not know it. So we're trying to take those measures of uh, preventing and uh, just in case we don't want to spread it to nobody, even if somebody was to have it or get it. So uh, it's challenging every day now. There's some things we can do to minimize foot traffic coming and going, but other than that, we, we still got to provide a service to the people and we got to go out and we got to answer our calls and we got to interact uh, when we, you know, when it's called upon. So, yeah, these guys still have to put themselves out there and hopefully I can, my job is to provide them the resources and based on these conference calls of what I need to do and uh, what I need to provide to them and keep them safe. Minimize it by getting good facts, listening to good source. Thank God we got a good governor who has been on this from day one, who has given us leadership, um, I mean daily, twice daily, three times a day. So that's been beneficial to all of us in government. We're in good hands. Uh, we just got to do a few things to uh, probably for the next couple of weeks until we see this get by or get uh, some, some, something done to it to minimize it.